uh, we are around an important area that you need to know. So just get your cameras ready. Um, it's coming up on both sides, but first on the right, that is the Black Star Square. It has been named after Ghana's independence, the Black Star. Um, the Black Star, uh, we all know, is a Ludo Star of African Freedom that was introduced by Marcus Garvey. Now, straight ahead of us, we can also see um, AD 1957, that is the day Ghana had its independence, and our um, motto is freedom and justice embossed underneath. Now, on the right side is the um, the Black Star Square. The driver will go around about twice, thrice for you to take your picture. This is the second largest square in the world. The first one is the Tiananmen Square of China, and this is the second largest square. This is the square that hosted at that time, it was the only live certain president that ever visited Ghana. That was Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton is the only, when he was in power, he visited Ghana and was a friend to a lot of African countries. A lot of uh, African heads of state trooped to this place to just have a glimpse of him. He was hosted on this park. People from Sierra Leone, uh, Nigeria, almost all, uh, all West African countries came here just to see President Bill Clinton. Now, look at the senator. Straight away, the, uh, straight ahead of us, the ark looks like a bag, a handbag. At that time, our president, um, President Kuma, the wife of a special bag that she goes out on with, especially during our independence celebration. And the bag is like that. So they designed the act that way. So the act is known as 40 years handbag. 40 years handbag. All this area, the building that you see around belongs to the government. We call it government organizations. Right. Now, those government departments, um, some of them we can see from here, but I can see just the building. Um, Internal revenue is just behind us. Oh, Lord, no. <laughs> no. Internal revenue. Oh, no. Those are the organization everybody hates. Oh, God. <laughs> because they take from you. <laughs> they never give. Yeah. <clears throat> and then on the on your left is the Accra Sports Stadium. Accra Sports Stadium. Where we are now is called Osu, O-S-U, Osu. It's a suburb that is, the people over here are Ga, G-A, and they are the octatons of Accra. They, according to history, according to history, Ga's once were living in Israel. They left Israel to Ethiopia. From Ethiopia, Tanzania, they walked around East Africa and from there to Nigeria in Ife. And um, from Ife, they came down to uh, this area. They came in six badges. And each and every badge has a leader. And they settled along the shore. The first to settle is called Gamashi. The second to settle is Osu, where we are. The third one is called Teshi. Fourth one, we have Nungwa. And then the fifth one, we have Tormang. Tormang. They are various segments with their leaders. And every community also has a leader. But all of them have one paramount chief. And in Ghana, chiefs have ranks like the army or the security service. 
you can be promoted to the highest rank and the highest rank is the paramount chief or the king like that santahini we have his right hand man is a chief left hand man is a chief uh, those who carry even his stool the one that he sits on they are senior stu uh, stool carriers That sounds like a sophisticated title. Yeah. Still now we are driving on Castle Road. On your right hand side is a military cemetery. Uh, these are the fallen heroes. Most of them are either during the war that they lose their lives or they traveled to uh, Lebanon and other places on international assignment that they lose their lives. Coming on your left hand side, coming on your left hand side is known as the Pink Lady. That's what was built in 1991 to host African American conference here, the first conference that was held. This was built by the Ghanaian government. And then on your left hand side, far on the left hand side, is the banquet, Ghana's banquet, and then uh, there are two banquets. The one on the right is where our parliament sits. Our parliament, Ghanaian parliament, or Ghanaian, yeah, <coughs> Ghanaian parliament. <laughs> All these areas, oh, yeah. We are going to we are going to country kitchen. Now look at the type of building that are here. Those who are up there can see on your right hand side that there's going to be a renovation. Um in in the olden days, when I talk about olden days, before we had independence, uh, uh these areas are the some of the areas that the British were living. We're going to drive around some of the places for you to see. You have a very big compound and a small house. On the left hand side is the building that was built by the British. That one over there. And that one is still there. Including this one coming on your right. This is a British building. We are back at AU runabout. And on the left is the cenotaph that I talked about that Prime Nkrumah always comes to host the country, any African country that have independence. Kwame Nkrumah made sure that uh, uh, he will help. Be, Ghana is the first African country south of the Saharan to gain independence. So he tried to help others to come up. Immediately you have independence, there's a big ceremony here. So this road that you are driving on now um, is a ceremonial road. When you drive straight to an overpass, wait, you have a uh, for that. Uh, sorry, right, American ambassador. American ambassador's residence is just on this road. We pass through this place so that you can look at this type of building on the left. That is one of the British houses. Currently, they are breaking all these buildings down and uh, rebuild. It's a government house. Never left. 